Hey guys, it's Matt here at the Titan Outlet Store. We are in the middle of September. My uh, video guy here thought we could uh, come up with some good ideas of a good way to show you guys that are in an older series combine what some of the benefits would be uh, from the monitor side of things. So we're just gonna do a little demonstration here for you and uh, we'll get started. Like I said, guys, we're just gonna talk about some few uh, extra, what I call would uh, be some good options as far as going from a maybe a 1680, 2188, 2388 to our flagship combine, you know, which obviously is a, is a whole different adapter uh, in the feeder house. So, uh, looking here at the screen right now, I just got up uh, screen one, which uh, we don't have the combine running, but it would give you your engine speed, your rotor speed, uh, fan speed, and um, it gives you a, a good overview of everything here. It'll tell you how fast you're going. Um, and then once again, you know, we, I'm gonna kinda go through here and point out some things that you can adjust. One here, this is your, uh, get your fan speed going. And of course, as we touch the button, you can see things are moving up you know, um, this one here being your thresher uh, loss sensitivity. We uh, typically, when we get these combines in, they're set to where they're at so we don't mess around with them. And you hit your enter. And here is your sieve loss. Uh, same thing, that's in about the 25 to 30 range. Um, over here, no, this is where we talk about uh, your tailings and stuff. That one's cranked up there quite a bit. Um, I'm just showing you guys a few things. Um, now we'll go over to uh, screen or run two. And um, right now, as you can see where my finger is pointed, uh, we're taking a swath. Um, we're set it up at 39 feet based on a, a 40 foot head. And um, in, our, in our area here, we, you know, if you want it on, which you will, uh, and then it's just going to show you your area of acreage. Over here, when we go to grower and we touch that, you obviously can um, select that, put you know your own information in. Uh, it just gives you a, a great feature, guys, is just to name in your fields, um, telling you what you put into them, you know, what farm you're on. There again, you can select, edit, however, what field, you can name the field, your task. Obviously, you select on that, you know, you can add that. Crop type is huge, you know, you can scroll through. Obviously, we all know uh, corn and beans is your big one. Select corn. Uh, down here, it'll, it'll tell you right now, like you said, I don't have anything running. We're just kind of doing a, a little short demo here, but it gives you a good idea uh, kind of what how important this monitor is to the benefits of the combine that you'd be looking at. We'll jump over to run three, screen three. Once again, this is where your swath is gonna record. Um, uh, and then over here, we got your aggressiveness as far as the GPS. Um, and, I, and I got it on auto, so that's, that's pretty standard. Uh, it's not gonna show us anything because once again, I don't have Evan strapped down in the buddy seat and we're not moving along, so. Run four is basic deal, just tells you bushels, you know, kind of where you're averaging, which is nice. I know a lot of the, the 21s and 2388s, they did have that option. Um, well, how accurate they are, we all know they, they are off a little bit, but the newer combines are pretty accurate. Moisture, huge. You go to screen five, which <clears throat> I know I've ridden with a lot of custom guys that like to jump back and forth just to check, you know, make sure everything's running good. Uh, we're not getting hot or temperatures. Uh, here you got your engine hours, your speed, your oil pressure, uh, how much fuel you're using per hour. That's huge, you know, for work on the combine. Your fuel temp uh, pressures again, how hard you're working that engine. And, and then your, you got your engine and threshing hours up there. So 
really nice feature there guys uh, you know we all you can't see all the parts of the combine the moving stuff so uh, it definitely will tell you what's right and what's wrong so and then over here <clears throat> a lot of guys once again will jump into that screen mode and it gives you your uh, hydraulics all your pressures which is huge even your header um, you know and you can break that down into like you said if you want to keep that up there or we'll uh, jump back into here and I went to the home screen and basically what we're looking at here guys is you got your toolbox um, gives you a, you know you can set this up to however you want it um, change screens uh, there again day mode night mode you know for the for the screen um, you got your layout you can you can set this thing up however you want it I just know you know everybody's different everybody likes to see different uh, things on the combine some like to see um, how the temperatures are running some guys are more worried about what's coming through the combine some are more focused on the GPS side of things it's it it's so um, so friendly to have these these uh, advantages with the Pro 6 and Pro 700 monitor versus driving this thing and watching everything outside and you you don't get to, you know you're kind of you're watching so much you kind of forget about some of these things so you know and you can adjust things on the on the fly which is really nice you don't have to get out stop you know do all that stuff um, just running through here again you know fuel tank uh, there's so many things on here guys we'll go back to display we'll go back to back we'll hit the back arrow here um, once again you can you can make your calibrations here You can do your diagnostics, and of course it, it asks you all kinds of questions, but this is where we get into the GPS side of things. It tells you your satellites, you know, if you're getting some good uh, signals. Um, that's not something you're going to get in an older combine. Uh, the GPS nowadays is, is where everybody's going. Uh, not only, you know, it keeps you from overlapping or missing, skips, stuff like that. It really is going to save you time, fuel, you know all those key features so um, some other things you know data management that's really nice you know you'll see on the on the side here you know we don't have one in but there's a there's a card uh, it, all your stuff will be loaded onto that card you can take that card plug it in you know whether you're at, at your office or here at the screen go through and uh, filter through that um, run screens once again we'll go back um, got your toolbox I know I'm kind of probably double there's, there's just and it's it's uh, cyber friendly as far as um, you can't hurt the screen you guys it's it's really nice you can just kind of play around with it get comfortable with it you're not going to make mistakes uh, you know like I said um, we'll go back into uh, performance here you know like I said here we go again you can grower you know you, the more you play around with it the more the more you're gonna get used to it um, you know and just like that you know I'm gonna get a uh, uh, I'm gonna get a beeped or honked at it's just a signal saying you know nothing detected all you do is hit the OK button and uh, move on. But like I said, um, you know, like I said, here's your fan speed, sieve, lower sieve, rotor speed. All these things can be adjusted. Concave openings. There is so much that uh, we can talk about when it comes to these monitors. So um, I just wanted to, you know, say thanks for taking the time to watch this video I know you guys out there a lot of you guys already are well into this You're probably into a 30 series combine maybe you've even got a, a 40 series coming down the road but these are some key things I thought I'd just point out in this video today uh, just what the monitor has to offer let alone what the combine itself meaning horsepower capacity features you know um, it's not just bigger is better but uh, you know we're catching up with the technology 
and you guys know how important that is when you spend a large dollar amount on this stuff um, it's very important and it, it just cre keeps your your farm business up to tact you can take these the yield mapping that we talked about uh, you, you know where the dead spots or some low spots are in your field that spring you can come back say hey guys I want some extra fertilizer in this low low spot that didn't yield as well those things there are the things that you'll you really catch up on and and catch as far as um, you know ways to pay make it pay for itself so uh, once again I just want to thank you guys for taking the time and uh, watching and, and listening to the video um, we could spend hours on it but uh, hopefully if you know you didn't learn anything out of this video but if you you know say hey I want to make a trip and come up and see Matt you're more than welcome to come up to the Titan outlet store here in Moorhead Minnesota we'll go out and grab a combine with either a Pro 600 or a Pro 700 monitor and you know we can just walk through it uh, some screens if you don't feel comfortable we're here five days a week eight to five a lot of times you call ahead I can make some appointments or whatever it be but uh, you're more than welcome to stop by the Titan outlet store and see what we have to offer and thanks again for watching this video